You probably only know about the Second World War from history class. Your mind is probably filled with dates, numbers, and facts about the horrors that the war brought with it. But there's more than what meets the eye. You probably didn't know that there are also many mysterious riddles, myths, and exciting criminal cases surrounding one of the worst wars that mankind has ever experienced. In this video, we present 10 of the unsolved mysteries of the Second World War. Who Betrayed Anne Frank? Made famous by her diary, which is now standard reading for adolescents around the globe, the young Anne Frank fled with her family from the Nazis to the supposedly safe Netherlands. After a short time, the Jewish Frank family experienced the Nazi invasion of this country too. All attempts to leave the Netherlands failed. The Frank family finally had to hide in a backyard of their apartment building in Amsterdam. That went well for many months. Then, the Gestapo came. The family was deported. Anne, her sister, and her mother perished. The girl died in February 1945, like her sister, from exhaustion in a concentration camp in Bergen-Belsen. Anne's touching diary, however, would survive and later became world famous. But who betrayed Anne Frank and her family? Sincere Dutch people worried about the family and other hidden Jews for a long time. But probably a person from the environment got scared and betrayed the refugees. After all, any Dutch person who hid Jews and helped them were also threatened with execution. A group of historians, criminologists, and an ex-FBI agent meticulously investigated the question for years. Although suspicion initially fell on a Dutch neighbor, the investigators eventually found old letters and indications that a Jewish notary had betrayed the Franks and other families in order to protect his own family from winding up in a concentration camp. To date, however, this has not been proven, and the mystery remains. Who sold out the Frank family? Gold Train to Valberic The Valberic Gold Train is said to have been a Nazi armored special transport intended to bring Nazi treasure to a tunnel near the Polish town of Valberic during World War II. The Nazi regime captured incredible amounts of cash, art treasures, jewelry, and other valuables. Some were stolen during military conflicts, but these precious items also came from the property of wealthy Jews who were deported or who left valuables behind when they fled the country. Official documents related to the Valberic gold train have never been found. The legend first emerged in the 1970s when eyewitnesses went in search of the alleged fortune left behind, for the train is said to have never reached its final destination. In 2015, two adventurers and researchers claimed to have found the train in a gorge in Poland. Today, the remains of Earth are covered and overgrown. However, Excavations supervised by the Polish government have allegedly provided no clues. Remarkably, however, a large fire broke out in the area at this time, which aroused a good deal of suspicion. Some believe this fire was intentionally caused to hide the evidence. Whoever finds the estimated 300 tons of gold, works of art, and jewelry will find themselves at odds with heirs and governments in other countries. Since 2017, there has been a foundation dedicated to the search for the Valbrick Gold Train, but adventurers, researchers, and financiers have so far been unsuccessful in their mission. Nazi Looting we have already mentioned in the previous post that the Nazis stole incredible amounts of gold, jewelry, and other valuables from the Jewish people and from the cities and countries they attacked. Adolf Hitler, himself an unsuccessful artist, is said to have frantically loved and hated art. He ordered all modern art objects to be destroyed in castles, churches, and museums, and only old-fashioned or Aryan art was allowed to be preserved. He hoarded the stolen art in several underground tunnels and hiding places. In the course of the Nazi looting, numerous paintings by great artists such as Rubens, Rembrandt, Raphael, and Goya disappeared. Since no exact lists exist to this day, experts and art connoisseurs could only estimate the values. A New York art house put the value of the paintings presumably stolen by the Nazis alone at $3.5 billion. In addition, there are countless valuables in gold, jewelry, and probably also cash, which are said to be deposited in unknown Swiss-numbered accounts today. But like the gold train from Valbrick, these rumors have never been proven to be true. Foo Fighter 
During the Second World War, members of the Allied Air Force are said to have repeatedly seen UFOs or strange balls of light over the German airfields. Several white, yellow, or reddish lights, the size of fists to soccer balls, floated in the air. The Allies called the apparitions Foo Fighter and assumed that they were a Nazi secret weapon. Later, Rumors of a Reichsflugscheibe, driven mainly by ex-Nazis, began to circulate. Sometimes referred to as Honbu, the saucer-shaped aircraft and spacecraft are said to have been part of Hitler's secret UFO program. Some myths and conspiracy theories even claim that Hitler got into a Honbu shortly before the end of World War II, which flew back to where it once came from. Let's hope he stays there. Flight 19 Speaking of science fiction-esque phenomenon, let's make a leap across the Atlantic. Shortly after the end of the Second World War, on December 5, 1945, a Navy fighter squadron took off from Fort Lauderdale in Florida for a safety flight. Dubbed Flight 19, the three-hour practice flight involved five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers and was commanded by wartime lieutenant Charles C. Taylor. Shortly after takeoff, the squadron commander radioed ground control that all the compasses in his cockpit had failed. Taylor radioed again, reporting the squadron's location over the Florida Keys. In fact, by then, Taylor and his team were somewhere over the Bahamas, disappearing from radars forever. All five planes disappeared without a trace, exactly over the Bermuda Triangle. The reason for this phenomenon is still a mystery to this day. There is said to be strong electromagnetic interference in or over the Bermuda Triangle. A few eyewitnesses who survived mysterious flights in the area even reported mind-bending occurrences like wormholes and a time fold. Hitler's Globe Now that we're reporting on global phenomena in Hitler's time, you can probably vividly imagine the megalomaniac little man standing in front of his globe and greedily occupying one country after the other. In fact, at a height of 1.80 meters, Hitler's globe actually towered over its owner by a notable 7 centimeters. The location of the globe was Hitler's Führerbau in Munich. When the Americans took the building, a soldier stabbed the globe with his bayonet in anger. The point of the map where Germany once resided is now nothing more than a gaping hole. Blood Flag on November 9, 1923, Adolf Hitler and some allies attempted a pooch. There was an exchange of fire with the Bavarian police on Residence Strasch in front of the Feldhernall in Munich, resulting in the deaths of 16 National Socialists, four state police officers, and an uninvolved passerby. Allegedly, the blood of the SA men who were shot in the process soaked a swastika flag, which later became a frenetically celebrated cult object of the Nazis. But Hitler first went to prison, wrote his book Mein Kampf, and then unfortunately returned to the political arena. After Hitler's return to power, the blood flag was used in ceremonies to consecrate new flags representing the National Socialist German Workers' Party. In 1944, the blood flag disappeared from the Brown House in Munich under circumstances that are still unclear to this day. Some claim it was destroyed in an air raid. Others claim it now belongs to a private collector and secret Nazi leader in Northern Germany. We'll all hope it met the first fate. Battle of Los Angeles The incident that went down in history as the Battle of Los Angeles is truly beyond curious. On the nights of February 24th to 25th in 1942, a major air alert suddenly went off in the Californian city. The entire urban area was blacked out, and gigantic searchlights scoured the sky for the enemy. From 3.16 a.m. to 4.14 a.m., the 37th Coast Artillery Brigade is said to have fired on the enemy. More than 1,400 rounds were fired, but later no traces of aircraft, launches, or similar traces of enemy forces could be found. Of course, an attack by the Japanese was expected only a month and a half after the attack on the U.S. base of Pearl Harbor, but that turned out to be wrong. To this day, it is not clear what triggered the alarm, what the pilots shot at, and why no traces of the battle were seen later. When reporting on the incident in 1949, the United States Coast Artillery Association asserted that a meteorological balloon was sent aloft at 1 a.m. and concluded that this balloon initiated the first round of fire. Then, once people started firing, 
firing, war nerves made everyone imagine they saw all kinds of targets in the sky. Still others claim that there was a military cover-up of a real Japanese air attack. Of course, it could always be aliens, but that one seems like the least likely. Regardless of the cause of the incident, the scuffle cost the lives of three civilians who were killed by friendly fire, while three other civilians died from heart attacks triggered by the fright of a potential attack. Why did Rudolf Hess fly to Scotland in the middle of the war? Top Nazi Rudolf Hess was one of Hitler's closest confidants and his deputy. In 1941, just before the German invasion of the Soviet Union, Hess flew to Scotland to enter into secret negotiations with the British Kingdom. Hess's plan was to negotiate a bilateral peace with Great Britain. The condition would be that the Nazis would be allowed to seize all of mainland Europe, while the British would be allowed to keep their foreign and overseas colonies. The British Secret Service was shocked, and Hess was imprisoned. Hess spent the rest of the war in British hands, locked away in various locations, including briefly the Tower of London, and a military hospital where he was even permitted guarded drives in the country. Hess was often visited by British intelligence officers hoping to pry his secret, and by psychiatrists seeking to understand the Nazi psyche, which in Hess's case proved to show major signs of mental illness. The psychiatrists hoped that they might better understand Hitler and Nazi fanatics fanaticism, if only they could understand Hess's mind. Hess remained imprisoned with the British until the Nuremberg trials. Later, he served life imprisonment in Berlin Spandau. In 1987, he took his own life at the age of 93. To this day, it's rumored that Hitler knew nothing of Hess's plans and that the odd Nazi might even have dreamed of overthrowing Hitler with the help of the British. What happened to the Amber Room? The Amber Room is the last great legend and a mysterious case from the Nazi era. The Amber Room was a ceremonial room located in the Catherine Palace of Tsarskoi Selo, near St. Petersburg, whose walls were lined with pure amber, gold, and mirrors. It was created around 1700 by order of the Prussian king, Frederick I, and completed in 1712 in the Berlin Palace. Later, the king exchanged the room furnishings with the Russian Tsar Peter I for tall soldiers. The room went to St. Petersburg to the Tsar's palace. The Amber Room has been lost since 1945. Since then, there have been many claims, assumptions, and speculations about its whereabouts. Some people have even gone so far as to say that the Amber Room never really existed. Adventurers, scientists, art historians, the Allies, and the German state searched in vain for the room that the Nazis allegedly packed in around 100 crates and had taken away. The value of this magisterial room was suspected to have amounted to several million euros. All in all, it's pretty unbelievable and perhaps even a bit insane what kind of confusion, mysteries, and secrets occurred in the background of the Second World War. Even with all our modern technology today, it's shocking that so many of these mysteries remain unsolved. Perhaps we'll never know the truth, but assuredly, people will keep searching for many years to come. Finally, of course, we want to know how you like this video. Let us know which of these cases you already knew about, what was new to you, and how you feel about the art theft and other mysterious incidents of the Nazi era. We look forward to your contributions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Click on one of the pictures and watch another exciting video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And to never miss new videos again, click subscribe and we'll see you again soon.